Hey everyone, what's up? I am Chaitanya. You're watching Chai with Chaitanya. This is a place where I talk about books, movies, and fandom. And today I am here because I was scrolling through my YouTube just randomly, and I saw that the trailer uh, for The Secrets of Dumbledore, which is the third film in the Fantastic Beasts series, uh, is kind of out. And I, I was not even sure that this was dropping right now. I, I don't think they. kind of were talking about it like nobody knew it just kind of randomly dropped and it says official trailer monday which which means that the official trailer is coming on monday but this is uh, a fan made trailer or this is a concept trailer i'm not so sure but i still want to my reaction to this because i think um i am kind of excited for this one like not super excited or ultra excited as much as i am for the back to hogwarts reunion that is happening without further much ado let's just get go and see what all of this is about uh. 20 years ago we got our first glimpse into the wizarding world you're a wizard harry I'm a what? And a spell was cast. I want to be a wizard. <laughs> It's a world that enchants the ordinary. Charms our senses. and unlocks our imagination. I think we can expect great things from you. It's a chance to spend time with friends we know and be introduced to those we've not yet met. Whether it's on a page, on a stage, or on a screen. It's all part of one world. It's inspired our own. Every great wizard in history has started out as nothing more than what we are now. If they can do it, why not us? And new adventures are on the horizon. The world as we know it is coming undone. Things that seem unimaginable today will seem inevitable tomorrow. Should you agree to do what I ask, you'll have to trust me. Even when every instinct tells you not to. You're talking to Credence. full trailer on monday holy shit wait oh my god thoughts coherent thoughts <laughs> i just feel so i don't know like no, partly nostalgic partly grateful partly happy because um much like most people of my age and 21 harry potter was something that was already there when i was born and while i was growing up and the movies ended when i was 12 year old the books the last book came out when i was what 8 year old i mean if you're counting cursed child then i was what 17 year old but yeah like you get the gist right so it has been a huge part of my childhood and it has been a huge part of my life in general but this is not about this video is not about me talking about what, what harry potter means to me but this is mostly about this trailer and the thing that i like the most about this trailer is in particular that it reminds me so much of what marvel did right before end game came out when they did like this collage sort of a thing where they showed you you know like bits and pieces from every single movie like every single 22 film that has 21 film that has come before end game and then you know they kind of lead you into end game and then they did it 
again right before you know the cinemas started opening up and we had shang chi coming out so they did that again you know i think it's called uh marvel see you at the movies or something like that like it says in the end that see you at the movies that's just what i remember it's, it's an amazing trailer marvel hands out just wins every single time and they drop a trailer of that nature uh so i i see what they're trying to do here and i kind of like it like it's it's not as as high in terms of amazingness as like what marvel often gives us but what i like about it is that how they've juxtaposed uh creations like i mean actual work of fiction movies and um you know scenes from both the worlds like fantastic beasts and harry potter and then they've infused that with real life footages from theme parks and wizard conventions and things wizard conventions i mean muggle wizard conventions these or whatever and you get to see all these fans coming up and doing their things and i like how they've done that juxtaposition and how they've you know they're, they're making you feel that you know this world is still alive which it kind of is in a lot of spaces and um and in terms of the trailer i mean in terms of what that little sneak peek that we saw the teaser i'm not sure what to expect because i think we did see credence with dumbledore which and and we did see that credence uh is uh, you know like he's definitely angry because the last we saw him in the crimes of grindelwald grindelwald tells him that he is the lost brother and of dumbledore and he's orelius dumbledore which is a complete lie according to me according to the theory that i have which i will discuss in the next trailer so if you have not subscribed do hit the subscribe button down below because i have a very good theory to tell you that why he is not uh, orelius dumbledore and why grindelwald is lying but um from the trailer it seems that dumbledore is able to meet credence and that there is a conversation that is going on between them so it's interesting to see what happens and there was this particular clip when they you know took that port key sort of a thing and they rushed into some place which is like these hills and stuff and from memory i think this movie is shot in rio de janeiro but again i'm not so sure so i'm very excited to see where this is heading and uh, to see what comes out of it because honestly the second film crimes of grindelwald was just average like in fact if i'm being super honest and it was not even average it was actually quite bad and rushed and felt just too many things is happening and uh you're not spending enough time so let's see where this goes and i'm super excited to see what happens next uh let me know down in the comment section below what are your thoughts what are your predictions i would love to know and chat with you and again as you said monday the official trailer is coming out monday my reaction would also be up so until then hope all of you are doing good bye